Hey, I'm back and I'm in a new apartment so I'm sorry if you can hear the kids running upstairs um, I can hear them all day long and you know this year has been the first time I've ever been invested in a presidential election or campaign mostly because it's all over the internet and mostly because it's been a big mess and I don't really want to talk to you about the presidential campaign but but what inspires me about all this mess is like you see how many people want to change the world and you see how many people want to move this country in the direction of equality as much as possible and that's what i want to talk to you today about how people that change history are everyday people they come from all classes all genders all there is no not one type of revolutionary and you know the other day someone left a comment in my video regarding privilege and how do you go how do you go about making change when you yourself have privilege because i feel like in theory doing good it should be easy but when you actually start doing it you get people criticizing you or saying you're not the right person for doing this or that so i want to talk to you about all of this today and about living our dreams the amazing thing to me about this election is that you see so many people campaigning for sanders and just on their own like in whatever small way they can you see them going for that candidate that wants equality and that actually discusses topics on equality and the lack of equality that exists in the country today and uh, that just makes me feel like i'm not the only person that wants a just world that makes me want to actually like do my part right in trying to change the world for the better and it's like for the older generations all they knew was whatever the media told them on tv on the radio on the newspaper and it's like our generation is different we can look up anything that we want online most of us get i would say most of our entertainment from some kind of social media or the internet so not only can we confirm and deny any like fact that you throw at us but we can see how every like people all over the world how they live and the effect that like capitalism has had on the environment has had on people what like the reasons behind why certain people live in poverty and why others don't and uh, so i don't think for our generation it's possible to just kind of like turn a blind eye to like the real facts because no matter what we're going to continue seeing stuff online and seeing like everyday people re learning about history learning about like all the unintended consequences or intended consequences of damaging the environment of how we consume food etc etc so it's like for our generation it's like it's it's not that we're gonna turn a blind eye it's that you're like you're just legit lying to yourself if you don't try to change the world for the better i think but the problem is that, like I said, you encounter a lot of criticism, a lot of people discouraging you, a lot of people ridiculing you, or like even something as little as just your parents or the adults around you saying, you know, you'll grow out of it. My favorite quote from the girl with the dragon tattoo is, there are no innocents, only varying degrees of responsibility. To me, that means that even if we were not the ones to create all the evil and all the inequality that exists in the world, if you do nothing, you by default are helping the people that are doing the evil because you're not stopping it and so it's everyone's responsibility to to get the world to a more just place for all living things in this planet and having said that if we're all responsible then even people with privilege should be helping out as well and and i and I don't say this because I don't think people with privilege should not help. I see it because um, when I started thinking about how can I make change in the world, a lot of the criticism that you hear is like, well, you know, you can't fight for this kind of people because you're not one of them. You can't fight for these rights because you have nothing to do with them. And, you know, to a, let's say to a white privileged person will then should they not help with anything in the world should they just like sit back and be like mm, let me go shopping i can't can't help anyone 
because I don't really belong to any group that isn't privileged or white. And I don't think that's right. I don't think anybody should sit back and just let the world collapse into the apocalypse. You know, last year we had such a weird year. Like, there was a lot of talk about, like, Black Lives Matter and a lot of ridicule ridiculing of Black Lives Matter and a lot of pointing out about how Black Lives Matter is going about things the wrong way, for example. And then uh, another thing that I found really interesting was a lot of comedians saying that they now refuse to play in colleges because young people want them to be politically correct. And apparently... They can't, some people, some comedians can't really be funny unless they're politically incorrect. And um, my point being, like, people are just talking about, hey, these people are failing at, at enacting whatever change that they want to see. And what I want this video to be about is, like, there's no way that you're going to try something new and you're not going to fail. Like, we fail learning how to walk learning how to talk, learning how to ride a bike, how are you not going to fail trying to move, trying to organize a movement towards revolution in whatever area of life that you want, whether it be something so little as like uh, humor or something so big as like an actual social movement that stands against police brutality, for example. And it's one one thing it's to like condemn people for example that riot and steal for no reason like there's no reason for that you're just hurting like the person that has the store right you're not changing the system so i don't mean that kind of condemning i mean like just that ridiculing that people are doing it the wrong way but it's like i want you to know that you're gonna fail whenever you try something new so how you could you not fail failure is one thing that i want to address in this video it's like you're gonna fail no matter what like you're gonna fail f even if you don't do anything out of the ordinary <laughs> and so you might as well be brave enough to follow like what you really have in your heart and then you really feel like you should be a going after rather than just like going to work until you're 60 and they're retiring because for some reason our parents bought into that lie but i don't think our generation can with all that we have our eyes open to and going back to the topic of privilege the reason that I'm, that really stood out to me was because it reminded me of um this concept i learned in psychology class called the hierarchy maslow's hierarchy of needs the psychologist said like all humans have these kinds of needs and the ones at the bottom which are more basic are gonna need to be satisfied before you can move up into a maybe i need that's more psychological so for example i need to eat before i need to look like good and that's not to say that in today's world they're not needed both of them or that you won't feel them but i'm gonna like try to fulfill my hunger if i'm a person that's you know has no food like i'm gonna try to get food and shelter before i go and try to get like stylish clothes right um and that just made me think like, you know, all this argument about how, you know, oh, women, privileged women should, can't really like fight for, um, for, for women that have less privilege or have, are in a lower socioeconomic uh, place in the world, right? Or like why people can't fight for black rights or whatever. It's like, it really made me feel like, well, isn't somebody who has all their basic needs met actually like a pretty good candidate for being a revolutionary? So instead of like shaming people for like not being poor essentially or not being a certain race, we should be like educating them so that they can become even better leaders so that they can actually fight for what other people actually need. And I'm not saying like, Hey, let's we go with money in charge of all <laughs> revolutionary movements. That's not what I'm saying. I'm saying if you're a person that you don't need, you don't lack anything for your survival, that shouldn't deter you for not for fighting for other people's rights. You should be that should like encourage you to make you feel like, hey, you have all this extra time and resources. 
that you can invest into figuring out how you can best help people, animals, the environment from wherever you are in the world. And that's really all I wanted to say in this video. I'm sorry if it was like all over the place. I haven't made a video in a while and I wanted to make it, but I just kind of wanted to remind you like, you know, please don't let people ridicule you or, or make you feel ashamed because you're not the right kind of anything. Because no one's going to be the right kind. There is no perfect human. There is no perfect revolutionary. You can only do your best with what you have. Again, I'm not trying to say like rich people should be in charge of the revolution. <laughs> I'm just saying if you are someone that knows in their heart that they want to change something about the world and move it into a direction that this world is more just for all living things, being people, animals, plan I mean plants. I was going to say planets. <laughs> then just go ahead and do it don't let your dreams be dreams don't let these haters keep you from doing your thing <laughs> Ugh. i think you know what i'm trying to say it's like don't be afraid to fail and to figure things out i felt like when i went to teach for america i failed so hard and some of you have seen my video and like i felt like it was such a setback but i learned Education is not my fight and it's okay for you to figure that out. I feel like my life has been so much about like introspection and figuring out who I am and figuring out how to be strong and and how to and how to like put information together and ideas together and making stuff and YouTube for me is like I finally have like a hint of what I should be doing. Doesn't mean it's the final form. It's just that first step and so don't be afraid to like fail during those first steps because who knows in 20 years i mean eight i could next week from now i'm gonna be like oh this video is so dumb why did i put it on the internet <laughs> but but you know it's like you only take one step at a time and you do the best with what you got so don't be afraid to figure that out and don't let people keep you from no, doing what you know is right because just the fact that you have money or just the fact that you are not a minority or that you're not poor doesn't or or like gay or an animal doesn't mean that you can't fight for them it's like should we not fight the whale should like should we not help the whales because we're not whales like isn't that ridiculous and yet we say you're a rich woman you know nothing about poor women's rights and it's like you may not know it personally but you can certainly learn and know how to be an advocate for them so again don't let anyone like shame you or discourage you from living the dreams that you want to impart in this world like that your life is going to go on anyway so you might as well try to reach whatever you want to bring to the world whatever change you want to enact um, thank you for watching my video. I feel like I was all over the place, but I really wanted to make this video because it's been a while and um, Yes, thank you for watching This is uh, My new place. This is my bed my paintings in the back um, Yeah, that's all I got <laughs> Thank you for watching my channel. Subscribe if you'd like to continue talking about world domination. Thank you for subscribing everybody. I reached 420 before 420, which was my secret <laughs> goal. <laughs> and the only reason I didn't say it on the internet is because it's too dumb of a goal to put up. But when I do reach 500 subscribers, I'm going to give away... I'm thinking I'm going to uh, give away three paintings, but I'm going to give away like paper paintings like instead of canvas because i think that's going to be expensive to ship and i don't make like money from youtube all right so just i hope that's okay whoever gets it and i'll let you know how to like um comment on a video or whatever i gotta figure that out um so yeah thank you for watching and please remember to subscribe and follow me on my instagram if you want to see my art uh, subscribe to my newsletter on meimeilingling.com and most importantly for the love of god and the love of humans vote for president sanders i mean <laughs> vote so that we can have president sanders
be our next leader of the United States of the world. See you next time.